Welcome to the Japanese Great Persons Channel. Today I will talk about Ichio Higuchi. Higuchi Ichio was a novelist and poet active in the Meiji era. She was born in 1872. She grew up in a well-to-do family, as her father was not only a government official in Tokyo, but also in the real estate and financial business. Ichio had excellent academic abilities, graduating at the top of her class in elementary school when she was 11 years old. Her mother, however, believed that women did not need to study and told her to give up her higher education. Her father, however, was passionate about education and wanted Ichio to study. At the age of 14, Higuchi Ichio entered the Hagi no Ya of the poet Nakajima Yutako. There she was recognized for her talent and personality, and grew as an assistant. While Ichio was studying at the Hagi no Sha, news of her brother's death and her father's business failure came one after another. Her father eventually passed away, and she had to support the family's livelihood. Ichio therefore decided to try to earn an income by writing novels. At the age of 19, she studied under Tosui Nakarai, an exclusive writer for a major newspaper company. At the age of 20, she wrote, Yami Zakura, The Dark Cherry Blossom and made her long-sought debut as a novelist. Nakarai was a kind-hearted man, who understood Ichio's difficulties in life and helped her repay her debts. Ichio fell in love with him, but she had to leave him. Because in the society of the time, it was taboo for a man and a woman to have a relationship before marriage. Ichio wrote novels for a living and started a general store at the same time. Later, through an introduction by Nakarai, she met publisher Ohashi Ottawa. This meeting led to the birth of the female writer Higuchi Ichio. In 1895, Takakurabe was published and became a big hit. It was highly praised by Mori Ogai, and Ichio became a popular writer. However, Ichio suffered from tuberculosis and died in 1896. At the young age of 24, she continued to write, dedicating her life to her family. Born in an era of male chauvinism, Ichio's life still inspires many people today. Despite the many difficulties and hardships she experienced as a woman, she famously said, as a person born in such a time, can I end my life without doing anything? We must think about what we need to do. And then we must walk that path. Her words of strength give courage to us today.